Good morning, everyone. As you can see, we are still in our house. This is, uh, the, nothing has changed at all so far. So we went into a long weekend without hearing back from the insurance on our house, which means we hadn't gotten approved for moving out and, and starting up a rental somewhere else so they could start the work in there. So no work's been done quite yet. The plan currently is for the insurance to send out somebody to take a look at the washing machine. And we are also having our own guys be there when they do that, just to make sure that there's another set of eyes on everything. And then after they do that, they can approve like the scope of the work. The workers can come into our house, start tearing things apart. And according to them, at that point, we need to be out of the way and the bottom floor of our house will not be livable for a while. So we've got to move somewhere else. And I got to say, it's been a weird couple of days because they told us you're going to need to move out of the house, but they didn't tell us when. We thought it was going to happen earlier. So we started packing and then we had to kind of unpack a little bit because we weren't leaving quite then. There's this constant like question on social media, like what's happening? And we're like, we don't know. And then the kids are asking like, what's happening? And we're like, we don't know. And then my family's asking what's happening? And we're like, we don't know. <laughs> so we don't know what's going on quite yet. Hopefully today we get some answers on timeline and scope and all of that stuff. But I'll show you some of the packing that we have done. Some of the like getting out of the house that we're We've got one foot out the door already. And while all of this was going on, something very interesting was happening, which resulted in Jessica and I pretty much not getting any sleep, but totally worth it. It's really exciting, I'll show you right now. Okay, you wanna show your exciting news? Whoa. Let's see it, let's see. <laughs> Those are some big eyes. Can you open your mouth? Say, like, ah, oh, oh, oh. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, oh, oh. You see those? You see those little things? You got teeth. You got your first teeth. Two at two, once. Two at the same time. He is our youngest little baby to have teeth. But Gwen always tells me that Christopher got his first tooth at four months old. She, I think she actually is very specific and says four months and 10 days. But I could be making that up. But, so Teddy's a little bit older than that, but just a little bit. You tiny little man with all your teethies. And right now, it's like very hard to see that there are teeth. I don't think anybody would recognize that there are teeth in here unless they've had a teething baby before. But he basically had these little white buds. They were like kind of showing on his gums. It was hard to get in there because he like didn't want you touching him. These are all like very clear teething signs. He also had like a little dotty rash around his face last week and has been very fussy, very hard to um, sleep at night. He just wants to like, be with me and cozy and cuddle. And then today, those little white buds now have like a dark, darker spot on them. And it's basically the tooth like breaking through the skin and you can feel it all. It almost feels like two little grains of sand right now. Since we've done this before, I know that like tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna be seeing them. Like they come out so fast once it starts. So I can't believe I, my tiny little baby has his teeth. He also seems so much more relaxed right now. So much more relaxed <laughs> like, than he has. He was having such a hard time. You were having a hard time. And now you have teeth. You did it. So Teddy is like the smilingest little guy normally. And he just wasn't smiling and he wasn't very happy. So I'm so glad he'll have his little smiles back. I'm so happy we're going to have your little smiling happiness back. Well, a new smile. Aww. Slightly modified smile. Slightly modified smile. It's just gonna be cuter, I know. But I can't believe our little baby gums are gone. All right, so we just had the inspector and two other people who, who have been helping us out come over and take a look. They definitely found what was wrong. It is something with the washing machine. So they have to then write up a report, send that to the insurance. Then the insurance approves us starting to work on this. But this claim has been open for like a week now, right? Like we filed the, the claim a week ago? Happened, yeah, something like that. So it's just kind of a waiting game and we're still not sure. It doesn't look like we're moving out today for sure. And then- It's so funny, like they keep saying like, oh, it's gonna be ready tomorrow. And we're like, okay, we're ready. And then they're like, oh no, this is gonna take a really long time. Right. And then they're like, but it's a dance. So like, be ready. By the way, yeah. 
The reason we walked over here was because I was holding him and he's like pointing to the camera. He really, he really wanted to be here for this and to be on camera. Are you gonna report? Yeah. How's the washing machine? No. Yeah. Was the was the floor wet? Wet. Do you want to go to a new house? Yes or no? You can say yes or no. Which one? A new house? Oh. You do you want to go to a different house? Yeah. You do? Either way, this is gonna be kind of an adventure. Like we're trying to not look at it as much as an inconvenience, which it is. I mean, being honest, <laughs> but we're trying to look at it more as like an adventure and like a chance to like do something different for a little while. So we're trying to have like a, a positive like spin on it. And I keep saying to the kids like, because they're every day they're like, okay, I'm packed. Like, should I go? Am I? Are we packing now? I, I am packed. I've got this, and I'm like. This is a great chance for us to practice our patience for all of us. So Christopher and I are practicing our patience and the kids are practicing their patience because I, we don't have answers. Like we wish we did. <laughs> so, and I feel bad that the kids are in limbo but, and we're all kind of in limbo, but um, it is what it is. Oh. Oh, hello, Miss Rue. Oh, hello, Miss Rue. So Good girl. What a sweetie girl. Want to get kisses? Coming. She's coming. She's coming. All rope set. Sit. Here we go. Good job, Luki. Is that your puppy? Yeah. Is Rue in here? Rue's about to go out and have her, her walk and potty time. Hi, little miss. Hi, little miss. Thank you for saying hi before you went on your outside time. La bug. Are you getting your book, Luke? Duncan, do you have anything to say about all this? <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you guys have to say about all this? It's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Are you enjoying this adventure? It's so yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, it's so amazing. It is. Bloody. Okay. Oh, thank you for telling me the story. Is that what happened? <laughs> Is that what it looked like, Duncan? Oh my goodness, you brothers. So we were watching around the world in 80 days. And then we paused and said, and we were cleaning up for a little bit. And then yeah. we saw when we were doing the cleaning that there was so much water on the ground, on that room. Oh, the, the, yeah. and then it went all over our house. So we had to use everything that's cozy. <laughs> everything that's cozy. What did the water look like, Luke? Can you be the water? Can you show me? <laughs> yeah, come be the water. <laughs> okay, wait, who's gonna be the washing machine? Uh, Duncan, no, 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 this is the washing machine. Okay. All the water comes out from here. Okay, and then what happened? What did Daddy do? Daddy used the vacuum to vacuum it up. So this is a vacuum. And then vacuum up, vacuum up the water. Vac Duncan's the water. Luke's the water. Vacuum up.
Yeah, the other side, it did. Lots of water. The water came all the way through under into this zone. So uh -huh. and see that wall? It's hard and to tell, but it underneath. came all the way through and is down under there. I couldn't see that. I had no idea, but they have these like moisture detector sticks. So they scanned all this zone and they found out that there was a ton of water underneath even this carpet in this room. This is such a new experience for us. Christopher and I have never gone through an insurance claim. We're trying to do it all appropriately and like follow all the rules and we're trying to listen to people we know who have been through similar things. Right now we're just pretending to be water and splashing all over the house and wanting to know if like I should buy milk or if we're moving. You know, like I'm always like, should I buy more groceries or should we wait until we're in a new house or is that never gonna happen? I don't even know. I don't have any milk. Want to see something kind of sad here in the garage? So I have another channel called Gifted Guitars and I haven't posted on it in forever. The last guitar I made was for Rachel Ziegler who just won a Golden Globe for her role in West Side Story and super proud of her, super happy about that. Anyway, this is where I shoot that and if you want to see something that I'm kind of sad about, it's this wall here. It only has one guitar on it now. I had to pack up all the guitars because on the other side of this wall is where the washing machine is and the wall got soaked and they are definitely going to need to cut into the drywall on the other side but we're not sure about this side so they might have to pull off this facade that i built here and in order to get to that i had to pull all the guitars off so those guitars are going to be in storage for a couple months but i left one guitar on the wall so that i could continue playing with one of my favorite christmas presents that i got this year these guys these are headphones that hook up directly to the guitar and it sounds like I'm playing an amp in the room. I've just been doing this a lot. That's kind of how it sounds to me. This is how it sounds to everybody else. Anyway, eventually that will get packed up as well. And then there will be no guitars hanging in my garage. Another thing that we've been doing a lot is eating as much of the stuff that's in our fridge as possible. We're really trying to get it to zero things in the fridge. So this is all empty and these are getting getting there. It's getting there. Getting there. This is this is a lot of space for us here in the fridge. We're not buying new stuff. We're not buying new food. We're not eating out. We're not ordering food in. We're just eating what we've got in the fridge, in the pantry and in the fruit baskets. This is leftover from a class. This, we just opened up this can and Parker wanted to explain what what the main dish is here tonight. So this, um, it's a hot dog inside whatever this is. That's a pie crust. A pie so we had an extra pie crust from a cooking class and some vegan hot dogs and that's what's for dinner and it was a hit. I've never made this before. I was just like oh, improvising. It's good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that some tea did you get some tea yeah. are you are you enjoying this apple coleslaw jacob made it in the class yeah yeah can you say thank you jacob Hello. and we've been kind of afraid to even go grocery shopping because the we, we don't know when we're leaving we did have to get milk on saturday we did get milk and we did have to buy like a couple of ingredients here and there because the kids are in cooking classes and they need specific things. But even in those cooking classes, like today, Bailey needed chocolate chips for what she was making. And we were like, we've got a chocolate bar. Why don't you break that up into chocolate chips for yourself? And a little update on the insurance side of things. They did approve our claim. So they have an agency that we are working with to try and find housing for us. And they're gonna find us a place so that we can move in and the work can start happening on our house. So I don't know when that's gonna happen, but the wheels are in motion. Things are happening. It's very exciting. <laughs>